The first companies to launch sustainability initiatives were working without a roadmap. Dr. Mona Amadeo of ID Group has researched and consulted with one of those early leaders, Interface, and in this short video, part of our Champions of Responsible Business video series, Mona outlines how Interface got their start and what worked along the way. Uh, I became very interested in sustainability in the early 2000s. Um, and what I found as I looked at companies is that we, there were a lot of examples of companies like Ben & Jerry's or companies like Body Shop that were founded with the intention of a, in, uh, a business that made money but also did it within the frameworks of what we today would call sustainability. In those days it was called corporate social responsibility. But the idea that they were there not only to make money, but they had a bigger purpose and they were going to do it in a way that wasn't harmful to the environment or that was socially responsible. So we understood those companies, right? We understood those. But what we saw around um, 95, 96, we saw an increasing number of people having um, other conversations around sustainability. People who would not have ever had the conversation were starting to talk about it. So I became very interested in how do we shift organizations? How do we move an organization from a very traditional mindset to one that is really engaged with sustainability? And I had the really unique opportunity to go inside of Interface uh, Incorporated, a global carpet manufacturer um, stationed in Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia, but with company with with locations around the world. Um, and what we studied was um, we knew of Interface. We knew, this was in 2004 when we did the study, we knew that Interface was supposedly this company that had been this industrial giant who you know, produced carpet but didn't give a, didn't give a flip about um, sustainability. But by the year 2004, they were you know, heralded as a sustain sustainability pioneer. So what we had an opportunity to do is to go in and look at, A, in fact, did that happen? Were they really, really uh, doing what they said? And if so, what a great opportunity to study the how. So between 1994 and 2004, this company supposedly had moved from uh, being, a, as the founder Ray Anderson said, a plunder of the earth to in 2004 becoming really an exemplar of sustainability. So what we found is, is interface did one of the most important things is that they, when Ray um, presented a vi his vision, he clearly said, this is where we're going to go. We are going to be the first name in industrial sustainability in deeds, not just words. Okay, so this strong vision was, was the most important thing Interface did. The second thing they did that I think is also equally important is they didn't try to figure out by themselves so the second thing I would say to companies is you need to look outside, bring in new ideas, don't be afraid to ask, you know, can you help us here? Can you help us figure this out? And also when you bring outside people in, it shakes your world, it rots your world. And when you're dealing with this type of shift in belief systems, or at least maybe not even shift, but allowing certain values to come to the forefront, you need somebody to rock your world. And so Interface did that. Uh, I think that was another big, big piece. The third thing, when people ask me about Interface and can other companies do this, and, and what do you think was the most important thing that they did, the thing that I say to them is this. Yes, Ray set the, the vision, but then he trusted people. He got, I said he got out of the way. He said, here's where we're going to go. Now you guys have to help us figure this out. And so he challenged the people in his organization to help figure it out. He made it important. He made them understand why it was important. And then he said, it's up to you. You got to help us get there. So I think when we talk about engagement, sometimes we, we get overcomplicated. We think it's some six step process to bottom line. Think about the time when you've been most engaged. It's when you care, when you believe and when you care about something. So the time spent really talking to people and allowing them dialogue versus this one-way conversation about why is it important to them, why is it important to the company, and why is it important to the world, I think was some of the most brilliant things uh, that we learned from Interface as far as what they did. It was no big plan. They, this was a rather emergent process, but if we go back and look at their process, we can clearly see that in the beginning, the three most important things that they did, one, 
a leader with clear vision and a willingness to step up and proclaim it. Second, bring in outside perspectives and be willing to rock your world. And the third thing is give people permission to get involved. Give people permission to bring their full self to it. And if that happens, and when that happens, and when we've seen it happen, people figure it out. And it becomes then part of the true uh, values, beliefs, the identity of the organization, not just some strategic intent.